The device that we are building is called the MGOCM, the Mammary Gland Organic Tippet Culture Module. The importance of the mammary gland is obviously lactation and feeding our young. However, it has a very different kind of developmental pattern where there's a rudimentary organ at the end of fetal development upon birth, and then most of the development of the mammary organ actually happens during puberty. So you can see where with exposure to a toxicant, it may have very unique effects depending upon if it's on the fetus, if it's in a, a young teen, or even in an adult, um, exposure can uh, modulate the mammary gland. We've built a variety of versions leading up to our final version now. We moved into a different clamp system so that we could have something where we could have our reactor and a pump together, but we needed to make some modulations. With our clamping system, we were having some issues with stability and we went through a couple iterations. Additionally, we made some changes to our cell chamber and we now provide oxygen to that chamber and we needed some better controls with our pumping system and we've added in a valve to have very regulated control over the microfluidics. Last design is an improvement on our earlier ones because now we can provide six different conditions all on the same chip so it makes it to be a little bit higher throughput. So this means we can provide, say for instance, five different doses of toxicant. We have oxygen CO2 balance, with, and yet it's something where the cells are all plated at the same time, we can do direct comparisons, and everything is in a compact system controlled with its own pump that we can easily insert into any microscope. Uh, that can take a 96 well plate format. We are currently using mammary epithelial cell lines that will generate a mammosphere. So things like MCF10A, MCF12A, MCF7s. We're also moving into systems now where we're trying to provide truly an organ environment and adding in uh, mammary fibroblasts and mammary adipocytes into the system that's moving into more of a triculture module. This system is better than our traditional static culture systems. So we have microfluidic control, our recapitulating a little bit better, exposure to things and clearance of metabolites that are building up. Additionally, we can integrate now than other organs. We might be able to not just have our mammary organ on chip, but one part of this is trying to start linking our organs and putting something like a liver upstream of this that's metabolizing a toxicant and then seeing what exposure to the system is. It has a little bit higher output then than doing things in a mouse and uh, we can work with human cell lines. So that's a little bit better than working with uh, murine model systems.
What we've developed is a system that will predict the lowest, safest exposure limits for a, a toxicant or potential chemical of interest and whether it's going to affect mammary gland. We have different readouts that we can have in the system, obviously because we're dealing with things that um, are uh, optically transparent. Anything that you can do with imaging analysis, you can do. Um, any antibody to your protein of interest. The types of things we're interested in particular are things like whether the cells are proliferating, whether the cells are dying, and that's all things that we can do optically and with uh, fluorescent sensors for those activities. Some exposure is gonna cause some dramatic death. But kind of more interesting are how some of these low exposure to toxicants might allow a mammary gland to continue to proliferate and grow when the cells should have already had some checkpoint on their morphological development. Additionally, we're adding in things like looking at the effluent with the mass spec and also looking at metabolites using the microclinical analyzer. What we're focused on right now are taking known toxicants, so things like bisphenol A, genistein, nonophenol, and doing uh, various doses of exposure to our mammary gland and seeing if we can recapitulate known exposure limits and effects on our developing mammospheres. And to date, things are fairly in agreement. I envision in the future these types of organ-on-chip systems. We're hopefully recapitulating a better organ system. And again, as we are capable of beginning to build out and connect these different organs, just adding liver in, we're going to be able to look at how the liver metabolizes an agent and whether we get new bioactivities right now that are affecting that downstream mammary gland. That's, that's much better than something, again, that we would do traditionally right now in static culture.